Welcome to another design and flow video. I'm Val and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit the different responsive modes so desktop, tablet, and mobile for your WordPress website using the Elementor Builder Editor. Let's get to it. Once you have opened your page that you want to edit the responsive modes of in your Elementor Editor, it will look something like this. You'll see the different responsive modes at the top here. This icon represents desktop, this icon represents tablet, and this icon represents mobile. You can click on them and see how the screen gets smaller to show what those screen sizes would look like. Phones can vary quite a bit, so I'm editing this, editing this on a desktop. As you can see, if I hover, there's an arrow, and I can make this expand or make it a very, very small phone. So heading back to desktop, if you want to edit different elements of your website and for example, let's go to tablet. Let's see, maybe this text feels a little too big, but I don't want it to affect the size I'm editing of the desktop or mobile. I would click this text pencil box here. And if I go to style on the left, typography, if I go to typography, I'll see here there is an icon of the tablet. This means that the change I make in size to this, or for example with line height, letter spacing, word spacing, anything that has that tablet icon beside it is only changing it in that responsive mode. So if I head out of here and go to desktop, I'll see that the text stayed the same size. That means that any element that does not have one of the responsive icons beside it, if you make a change to it, it's going to carry that change across all the different responsive types. So for example, if I click on about here and I change the color to blue, something like that, and I head over to the mobile, I'll see that the change also happened in the tablet and mobile. Anytime you make a change in one of the responsive modes, it does not automatically change. You need to make sure you head into the top right hand corner and hit publish to save any changes that you made. There is one sort of unusual exception to the responsiveness that doesn't apply to the icon and that's that is that sometimes when you change a picture out and replace it, so let's say I wanted to replace this picture, I choose another image, sometimes the picture will change across the mobile and, and across all the versions, even though there is no icon next to choosing another image or replacing an image. And sometimes the changes will carry across everything. So a good rule of thumb is anytime you change start changing things on your website, whether it's replacing an image, whether it's adding a new section, changing the text, it is a smart idea to double check how those changes look in all three responsive modes. That way you know maybe you need to change the size of the text, maybe the image didn't change in all three versions, so you need to go to that same image in all three versions. So just make sure you check everything in all of the different responsive modes before you go ahead and publish your changes and make your changes live. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.